Well, in Act One, I am wearing this lovely ensemble, which includes a genuine Chinese silk smoking jacket. Um, in general, if this is really the way people in the um, 19th century dressed, and I believe it is, it's wonder they had time for anything other than dressing and undressing, because um, even the boys were the least dressed on stage. Um, I have like three layers, three to four layers on at any given time. And like what? My throat is always covered. Um, I've got a <laughs> vest on constantly. I have pants with braces undershirt, dress shirt, um, this, either a smoking jacket or a genuine jacket, um, oftentimes a hat, either a boater or one of these lovely caps up here. Um, this is my act two. Um, I enter my traveling clothes in this. Absolutely wonderful. And then, and then the boater. Oh, and then the hair. I've, um, for purposes of 19th century recreation, I've let my hair grow for like a month and a half before this show. So. This is longer than it's ever been in my entire life. I never went through a hippie stage. Not that this is about me. Am I? Oops. All right. You ready? Yes. Breathe. How does it feel when she does that? Like I'm not allowed to breathe again. <laughs> it's jolting. Can you believe people actually wore those? Well, people wear Spanx now, and those are quite difficult. <laughs> but no, I can't believe. How does it affect your acting? Um, breathing is very important. More, I mean, obviously breathing is important, but breathing is more so important um, between lines, and actually it's kind of like a singer. We had to, I had to learn my lines like a singer. I had to put breath marks in because you don't get as much. My ribs expand out, and I, they don't now. So I have to breathe all the way in down here. What did you discover once you got into the costume that you, was there something you were always doing in rehearsal and then as soon as you got the corset on you were like, oh my god, I can't do that anymore. Yeah, sitting. <laughs> <laughs> the sitting was very difficult because you have, you can't just like, you know, plop down. You have to kind of like have this way about, you know, you don't have any function. You, there's none of, there's, there's no teapot short and stout, you know, there's no, you can't move this. It's just, it's up. I was using a very simple little wrap in rehearsal, and then I got this. And all this was built in house. Yes. You literally wear that on stage for two seconds, for two do you? Seconds, yes. It's for a little joke right at the top of Act One. When, I mean, my entrance in Act One, when I throw it off. But I think it's great because I don't have to remind myself to sit up straight. I have the reminder embedded in me, so.